Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're doing more of the full full event. Dude, I only got like five, six days to complete it. No. How am I supposed to get a million fans in that time? Hello. <laughs> Let's get started with today's operations. The Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Heliobus Containment Breach Incident, aka the Ghost Hunting Squad. Is ready for action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, why the exhaustion? You look like the officers over at the Realm Keeping Commission. Sleepy. <laughs> oh, little boy, what kind of magical elixir did you take to make you so energetic? Coffee. Every time I see our follower count increase, I get so excited I can't even sleep. It works better than any kind of tea or coffee. Well, aren't you lucky? As soon as I close my eyes, I dreamt of endless running and circling and chasing after Lady Bailu. It was even more exhausting than doing it in real life. Dushong, you slept for an entire day. Yes. Catchy ghost is a night job. It only makes sense to sleep during the day. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. How about I'll just pretend that I've been possessed by a sleep ghost, and I sleep for another ten hours, and then call it a day's work? <laughs> uh, that's the Celestial Jade Flare over at Exalting Sanctum. Whenever I pass through on official business, I always see her with loads of other flares. <laughs> Even a judge knows her. Her reputation sure does precede her. Who is this exactly? Damn, we're calling her out. Let's see what we got. Difficulty four. Yeah, that shit's too hard for me. I don't have strong enough DPS for that. Let's see. We got a few done. That's nice, that's nice. Hmm. Trying to see them in. Yeah. This one. Ooh, 45k. Let's see. Oops. I take my job seriously. I never post something like late as usual on a public forum. Miss Sushang, uh, I think you missed the interesting part. Yep. The description in this comment is really suspicious. It definitely sounds like Heliobi activity to me. And if Heliobi have managed to infiltrate the Divination Commission, that spells big trouble for the Lafu. You're right. Maybe we should contact Miss Chingchua and warn her not to go to work today. That's a good idea. We should send out a message, or people's curiosity will get the better of them. Notification sent. I guess now we should go to the Divination Commission and see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Mm. But let's talk to Cirrus again first. Yeah. All right, Cirrus. I'm back to harass you once again. You know how it is. Shit. Should I just have you sleep? Okay, well, 
That's hilarious. Chess skills? I'm good, bro. So, you imprison Muxy in the Matrix. And I heard the cries of other Heliobi longing to break free. Hmm. But it would seem the Ten Lords Commission has everything under control. What is it you want from me? One victory equals one question. Uh, uh, don't forget the agreement you made with the general. Don't be so sure of victory before the battle begins, young one. But I'll tell you to protect you. Isn't subduing a helio bus a bit overwhelming for you? <laughs> you know, if you can accept me with an open heart, I can take his place and help you. Oh. Of course. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh. The fact that you're trying so hard to persuade me means that you're not sure of victory either. If you were, you'd have devoured us without hesitation. Am I right, Cirrus? Then have it your way. I'll destroy Ching Yuan's pawns here and now. <laughs> Don't let your previous victory go to your heads. Okay. Yeah, let's try this face on. Huh? <laughs> let's go. They did it. Yeah. Ask your question. We think the divination commission has been infiltrated by Heliobus, but we don't know which one. Entering the Sien Zhou's window to the future, it must be none other than. He's not tiny. Caroline. They always relish hounding your prophets and seers with questions of destiny, watching them flounder between the random and the preordained. in your human skull is computationally inefficient. Your conjectures on destiny are little more than analogies of fate. I didn't even say anything. For we, the <laughs> are different. When we come together to harmonize and observe, destiny is clear and vivid as firelight cast into darkness. Ugh, in warfare, nothing is more important than being able to predict your opponent's movements. Among the fragments of Ignimar, Caroloom was in charge of knowing the past and predicting the future. It is said that during the multiple battles, <laughs> Caroloom had a premonition of failure, but Ignimar ignored their warnings. It looks like we have a clear target this time. Let's get going. I may not have the same predictive power as Caroloom, little fox girl. One thing I do know is that sooner or later you will beg for my help. Huh. Time will tell. Don't bother in this world. Look who the cat brought in. Oh, you're here. Is that a Ten Lords Commission judge? Oh, yeah. Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Tingtra. 
something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. Hmm. Which one do you want to say? If we tell her the truth, then she might help out. But if we don't, hmm. Well, we want to remain secretive, so I'm going to listen. Well, anyway, there's a dangerous situation at the Divination Commission at the moment. So just don't go in there. Good idea. With working conditions like these, I wouldn't be able to concentrate anyway. I heard from Alway that the Artisanship Commission is also experiencing strange phenomena. Several of the apprentices have started babbling nonsensically. It's kind of scary. Of course, it could just be a side effect of being denied graduation. <laughs> In that case, Miss Jean Trey, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? I mean, you could leave, but... Wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. What's going on? We still should have someone to go. Okay. We already explored all the chests here. We're gaming. What are they looking at? Is everyone okay? There's only one way. Divination is meaningless. <laughs> How did the Matrix of Prescience become like this? No, Pushra, no. Look, the Diviner Girl is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. Or divining. But something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. The Heliobus. Is that the danger you were talking about? I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Oh, so she does know about it. <laughs> of mortals. You mean the master diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. We're not close enough for that, are we? Never mind, it was. Silence. Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Oh my god, I'm dying out here. <laughs> Master Diviner, you're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom. It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, or a guest from the Astral Express! Jean Chui, I have grown weary of your insubordination! Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the Commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? Jean Chui... You are hereby expelled from no. the I... Th that's... Darn, now we're down one person. Well, A great idea! <laughs> <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... Well, how to put it? That's not quite the right way to describe her. <laughs> I would call it... 
wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the Commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? <laughs> She's too happy about getting fired. My boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the heliobus cloud in her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been a clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, Woke I will myself to defining the predetermined futures of the Sea and Joe Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. Oh yeah, this path of preservation, baby. You. You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Celeron Hunters. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go. These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries that will eventually converge on the path of destiny. Your journey to the Sien Joe, the defeat of Fantilia, all these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me. Argue with me loudly and futilely, or fall into silence. <sighs> Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options. <laughs> Brother. Come back to me when you've thought it through. Dead ass? Trivial choices if you are still not convinced. Then follow me. Alright, we beat her ass now. Let's go. I, I, I figured if they gave us the option. What is this? This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. It's a sandbox game that diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the master diviner bring us here? That's right. Now listen. If you place an ingenium in this little maze and give it a command, it will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines. There is more than one path in the universe. And yet machines we are. Complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. <laughs> Alright. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. Hmm. Wow. 
not that was free. We did it. Well done. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning. <coughs> Just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start. Choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game. And no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it. Even if it's the same work every day. I can hide in the library and read a book. Or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. I had to play Genshin TCG. Convince me of anything. Sign of a true scholar. A diviner of the divination commission, after all. Dushong, snap out of it. A slacker helio bus is getting into your head. <sighs> Ching Chue, Ching Chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, Choices come with very real consequences. <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. <laughs> As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end, I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow, only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. Yeah, talk to the baseball bat woman. Why don't we try a more advanced skill box? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Ching Chue! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. Brother. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices Destiny gives you. Mm, let's see. So I have five to use. Let's do it. There you go. It's not too bad. It worked. Yes, it did. The path changed slightly, but it was just as simple. I'm sure the Master Diviner would say, Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again, exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue? I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Carolum. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. Mm. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. I gotta clean my nose. Let's see. Ready? 
ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Sure. Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingchua has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we're just gonna change the puzzle. You go stand in the sandbox. Right about that spot over there. <laughs> Next, Judge Hopo, you stand on the other side of the room. And stop shaking. Me and the boys just start cheating. All right, we're ready. And now, the second path appears. Let's begin. Lead the Endymion to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. Mm -hmm. well, they obviously can't There you go This is the other solution The alternative choice I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you've created a new path out of thin air? Yes. You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Back with water and some snacks. Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability, ambushing your opponent, twists and turns, the balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And do my choices Whoops. at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No! The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Alright, cool. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers, our Master Diviner is making endless choices, fighting against the odds just so the lawful can travel safely for another day. In my book, she's the best player there is. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Julie of us, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. The illusions shall you. Everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. <laughs> You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Bushwen. Don't 
push me away. Don't let her words fool you. So real. Okay, I may or may not have lost that fight. <laughs> Dude, I have to fight, or I have to listen to this cutscene every time I lose the fight. That's my third loss, bro. <laughs> they keep killing Yajin, I can't, I can't do anything about it. That was the most bullshit I ever had to deal with. He attacked Yang Shin twice, and then he died. I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to listen to this shit again. <laughs> I'm about to eat food. So for the last 30 minutes, I've had the luxury or, uh, not luxury, but <laughs> I had a healer and I have a shielder alive. And they can't kill me, I can't kill them. Like, <laughs> this is what's been going on. The things I do for YouTube, what the hell? <laughs> yes! Holy sh- WHAT? No! This is the least fun I've had in Star Rail in so long. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Bro, that took so long. Just a small headache, nothing more. Dude, I want to die after it's that. To experience some discomfort after being possessed by a helio bus, but nothing a few medicinal pellets can yeah. take care of. <laughs> it sucks too, cause you couldn't auto battle it. <laughs> they may not be the you most powerful fragment. Dude, becoming entangled in their oh my god. Welcome, welcome. I've been here for 20 minutes. Are you? Yeah, I don't have 2 p.m. Oh my god, I'm like Malbin right now. This is the worst day of my life. No, free to play. I don't want to see free to play ass Tango lose. <laughs> Dude, I, I died three times and then he killed Bela, so I had no debuffs. And then he killed the ancient, so I had no DPS. So it was just my shielder and my healer that was alive. And I had to win with just that. You're going to I wonder, I wonder if he foresaw that. That, that fight took 50 that minutes, bro. I wonder if someone foresaw that. Where, uh, oh my you god. Holy well, I shit. Well, I guess I won the bet with Henry that uh, you would not. <laughs> that it would be a lot of suffering for you to do. To it gets harder, by the way. It gets harder. Of course. Why you were possessed? You I, I almost failed at a Jing Liu blade comp. So yeah. I have to ask you to, I'd, I'd to like swap comps. I, I just. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what I did. I think I saw the Brian for a peel and uh, that, that just helped. Bro, my ass went to go eat food. <laughs> and then I had some snacks. That's how long this fight took. I took out the popcorn and started eating it. Now I pre-farm Raiden, uh, exploration mats. Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I 
can. After all, there are always choices. And boss in life. drops. You taught me that. <laughs> I can't convince you. Nah, I wish I was a Yoi Mia main, because this possessed. shit's gonna be hard as fuck. Get the fucking manifestation the dead. Man, you should get some rest. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a br I mean get back. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Yeah. Editor B is gonna have a fun time editing it out. My actions today brought great the first time I had Kayla and Yangshin die, and then I restarted it. And then uh, second time I had Kayla die, so then I restarted it. And then third time, I was just like, fuck it. If someone dies, I'm just going to continue until I finish the fight. See if I win. And that's what just happened. <laughs> I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> just kidding. You, you boy, are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Divinocy. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Dude, you're like required to run two DPS. I shouldn't have World Ascended before doing the uh, event, too. Since I'm World Ascended, everything's like level 80, and all my characters are still level 70. I think that happens regardless of uh, your world level, I'm pretty sure. No, it, it literally got harder because I leveled up my world level. Uh, be smarter, I guess? I don't know. Mm, I yeah, but I want a more simulated universe reward. <laughs> At the cost of spending so much time to fight all the Bob. Well, he literally one shot it. Okay, like, he did half of my health for Yangshin and then he just got an extra turn after attacking so then he he went for Yangshin again and just killed him and I was just like bro that was some bullshit <laughs> I need to go for a smoke after that please allow me to save my friends for another day you see, for you guys, the video is like probably 30 minutes is so far. And then for me, it's been like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hey, I'm leaving you in the pot. Never getting out of the pot. God damn. Hmm, it seems like your operations have met with some success. I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious man. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo would acquire inner demons and Heliobus can take advantage mm. of them fortunately with your help Fu Shren prevailed over her intruder do you enjoy listening to storytellers and watching immersion in both cases tales have a predetermined ending but you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them should you the same is true of life whether the end is predestined or not, it's worth living. Very well. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the yeah. suppression towers. And it's not like I couldn't, like, just auto it or, uh, well, I literally couldn't auto it, but. I couldn't also, like, not pay attention. I had to pay attention that entire time in order to get the skill points. Because they kept stealing my skill points and I can't heal. So I had to pay attention for that entire 50 minute fight. 
<laughs> That's the cost of being free to play. <laughs> On behalf of the Ten Lords Commission, I commend you for your great service <coughs> in resolving the divination commission crisis. You say yourself, you're either you're a money whale or you're a time whale. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to spend 50 minutes on a singular fight. You have Yang Ching, I don't know what you expected. You have the literal worst DPS in the game. <laughs> I didn't realize that one as skilled as Diviner Fu would also be susceptible to the power like, of the Like, holy life. shit, bro. You got one shot. <laughs> Essentially. I can understand her plight. After all, we're all moving forward on our own unseen paths in no uncertain terms. Judges are instructed by the Ten Thank God, Gepard and Hoho is OP. But both of their, like, normal attacks is level 1, so it took forever to kill. Okay, now we do a 20 point Argenti. Today's business is finished. Please get some good rest. Right. I'm exhausted after that shit, bro. You too, <laughs> Don't work yourself to death. With the first non one hour plus Star Rail video. What do you mean first? My first. Yeah. Point stands. Oh wait, no, I, I had some Star yeah. Rail videos that yeah. are under. Like, story-wide. Yeah, their literal first video was five hours long. Yeah, I'm saying first non-one hour video, not hour video. Uh, that, well, that's just wrong. Yeah, because rolling videos count. <laughs> I forgo. You noob. Does he know his own content, Lamel? I do. I have a Tenga A do the other day. Tenga B is the one that's always playing. What is this LARPing you're doing? What, 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 what are you, gay? <laughs> Alright, let's see how the host did. Oh my god. Was that 45k people? There we go, time for you to read the comments. Yo! <sighs> no, it's not worth like the 150 jades I got. <laughs> it's not worth it. You said it yourself, you ever a money whale or you're a time whale? Holy shit, I didn't go for a smoke, guys. Alright. I've been, I think it's been to me like, like, I think like 11 hours to do the whole event, I think. Yeah, it might take a little more than 11 hours. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, th th those trials out there, those chronicles are actually pretty hard, to, to be fair. As long as I get like all the rewards. I'm assuming uh, you don't need all of them to get the... I think you need the, I think you just need the, the 60, yeah. Yeah, you just need 6. No, 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 like I'm saying, uh, you know how you get the little coins to level up, uh, I think it's this. Do you need all of them in order to max this out? I'm 90% sure you do. Bro, you got the jades in the... Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but you can come back, because that part's permanent content. 
It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a soccer. It's literally it's literally a soccer tree. You can just come back and do it later. Shit's so hard, bro. Well, it's a soccer tree. You can just come back. All right. And it, and we roll. Do it. You're like yeah. a bra on you. That's not gonna help. You. <laughs> bra is not. It's not gonna solve it. It's, 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 it's actually gonna make. I feel like bra is bad for your account at this point. You're just saying words now. Yeah, I need Gapar to get two turns. That way I could just keep getting my shield. We're running Yoon! <laughs> okay, I didn't get anything. Unfortunate. Hmm. Is this thing even that hard? Uh, the last couple ones are pretty hard for the last uh, two chronicles. Oh, I only need one couple stars. Yeah, if you're bad. Mm -hmm. I I I I had to do the I had to do like my, the last one though, like the very last. One, I, I did I had to do like my fourth try because I had to like I had to like had to like think about what I had to do. Recover four skill points and apply. That's not good. Hmm. That one is pretty good. I'm gonna go away. <clears throat> hmm. What do you think's better? I I feel it's take I feel it's taking twenty hours regardless. But definitely a DPS one. Which one? Uh well the middle one's designed for DOT too right now. The bottom one is uh this one is probably DPS. Uh, AoE DPS. Well, that was because of your attack. I don't know how high your attack is. This one? I mean, you can read it. It literally just scales off the attack. Yeah, the ancient is the highest attack. Yes, yes, I know, but I don't know how much that is. Oh, that's, 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 that's actually way higher than I thought it was going to be. Oh, because we're on attack boots. Now yeah, because I have 120 speed already. That's not the breakpoint. It probably is a breakpoint for this content, but that's I did not tell you 120 speed. Oh, it's oh, it's probably it's part of it's part of the requirement for uh your planner set. Yeah. In which case, in which case, then that's fine if you're doing it like that. <coughs> I'm, 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 I'm like, that is not the, uh, the, the break point for, uh, for Gon Hall. Hmm. Holy fuck, my health. <laughs> My god. Well, what are the requirements? No down. Okay. That's not Which too is bad. Time limit. Which is the time limit? Is over. <sighs> <laughs> Are you not dead? Bro. Question from last time. You stick a Gyat outfit of Rizzler. 
I'm good. <laughs> you heard it here, chat. He doesn't take his yacht out for a Rizzler. It's a hard pass for me. Sorry, ladies. He's not interested. He's gay. I'm sorry. Ready for another? I think if I'm sticking out my Gia for the Rizzler, then that makes me gay. Girls can be Rizzlers. <laughs> okay. A girl can have Riz. That's not what I said. <laughs> well, that, that, I mean, you, you very much implied it by saying that Rizzlers are, is make, if you're sticking out for the Rizzler, that says you're gay. Enemy you attacks cause it. one loss. <laughs> Motherfucker. Just got possessed by Helio Vibe. Yeah, that's it. I, I just kept Pujan ult. Can I freeze you? Okay, well, I ain't freezing if I don't crit. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> hmm. The only way I'll beat this event is if I spam that ability. Cutting this fight out. This better kill. Sick. See, that wasn't too bad. I beat the first and the second level. <laughs> I know. I know. Level three is when it gets hard. Congrats, Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. I win. That was close though. I, I keep going to like the last cycle to beat them, which is really annoying. Oh, it's this fucker! I hate the him so much. Oh my god, bro. If I see him on the street, I'm gonna fight him for real. Oh yeah, he's ultra dead. Let's go. Let's go. I get all the rewards for this tower. Against all odds. Yeah, but I can't say the same for the first tower. I don't know why it's so hard. That one, that that one, I failed on it too. That shit is actually annoying. I yeah, it took me like it took me like three times. That that one is actually like way too hard. I did, I did like my like my fourth attempt. I think I had to do it on. <laughs> Your fourth attempt. No fourth, like my. Well, like, well, cause I I retry very early. Like, 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 like on the first cycle, I'm like, oh, I didn't. I, I realized something was going wrong. So, like, I didn't like would do the entire thing. Like, on the first cycle, I'm like, oh, this is not gonna work. So I just stop. Gotcha. I just moved my Brania set to Pila. And I did hyperspeed Pila, and then that worked out for me. Let's see. Mm. I mean, I'll yeah. I'll try it with this though. Yeah, these bosses are very dependent on like keeping tempo. Mm -hmm. Chat, does this all do enough? <laughs> I don't think it does. Oh no! <laughs> no! Enemy targets detected. No! Holy shit. Yeah, Yanshin wasn't gonna take it. I don't have enough DPS for this. 
Bro! <laughs> hey, I'm coming back when Yankin's level 80, bro. What the hell? No! No! <laughs> That's so sad. I was so close to you. Alright. <sighs> One twenty shades. Take it. Hmm. Look at that. How many quests are there? Because there seems to be a lot. Uh, I want to say. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's. I'm pretty sure it's like twenty or something. I do, but like, it, it like scales. It was scales. <laughs> so like. I think I, I think I, I think okay, I think 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 yeah, Idubs, uh, he gained, uh, what was it, two, like, 250k subs and during the first content cup. And how many did he lose on the last content cup? I don't know. Uh, dude, when Idubs lose the last cup, like, if you told everyone in 2016 that the last content cup would be on himself, <laughs> we, we'd all call you crazy. Huge L. Yeah, that video was so bad. It was called, like, I missed the old Idubs. No, I think people just miss edgy content what as a whole. <laughs> no, no, it's just, I just look how this sucks now. He does, what does he do to Chex makes peace tier list now? <laughs> no one wants that. I just leave for, I, 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 the, the perfect, uh, dynamic of you either live a, you either die a hero or live long enough to become a villain. <laughs> Yeah, now he flexes money and also talks about Jacob Satorius. That's what he does. <laughs> I don't think Adam does that. I think Adam just, just doesn't do I don't think he does anything. Well, he doesn't post, so. Yeah, he streams too at 50 viewers on Twitch. <laughs> really? Yeah, no one, no, no one cares about him anymore. That's more than Myth. Remember that guy? God, not TSM myth. I I haven't. I'm not a big FPS person, but I knew him because he played with uh, Ninja. Ninja, yeah, Ninja, please. Speaking of which, how is he doing nowadays? Nin Ninja. Yeah. Uh, he's around. He's around. Is he popular still? So? Uh, we, uh, his, well, his views get like 200 k views per video. Okay. It's like, alright. But for a channel that size, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, he's, he's also a streamer now. Hmm. Well, I mean, he's a banished streamer, but like, he, like, he's, he's never cared about YouTube. He's never cared about it. Even though that probably makes him more money than Twitch. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily. Yes. I, I, I don't know if you know, but he posts like his VODs there. Or, no. His Twitch just has all his live streams and all like compilations and VODs go on to YouTube. Yeah, but I don't think you're realizing that Ninja's not really playing the VR game. He's just, he's just trying to build a brand. And the way you do that is through YouTube. It's through uh, uh, Twitch. Yeah, he's gonna start selling Prime with <laughs> Logan. I mean, uh, the ninja I mean, flavor. I mean, I mean, on Twitch, <laughs> his 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 vod for Lego Fortnite has like one point two million views. Yeah, it's Lego Fortnite. Although that game isn't really. The same as Fortnite, so I don't know how many people would be interested in to see how he played. 
my god, Rambu's live, hell nah. Rambu cupcakes, yes. No, this guy's talking to an anime woman, she's not real. <laughs> no. He's talking to a ghost, no. The hologram. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> what is this? Get your impact part one thousand and thirty eight. At least I care enough to title my videos. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what? There's always one thousand videos this guy has. There's no way. Oh god, I think they actually do. I think they actually do. <laughs> it's daily videos are free. Yeah, each video is just him doing his daily commissions. Well, they're each like 40, 50 minutes long. He's a grinder. I respect it, bro. Yeah, just don't hurt up with a vibe. Just so hard. Well, he's grinding too, he has to play the game. Oh yeah, because cause no one else who plays the game plays the game. I like how they give us the choice to capture the ghosts or just let them free. That's pretty cool. Although we're kind of disobeying orders, it's just whatever. <laughs> oh, the scoops. <laughs> Your UID is you go to Harvard University. <laughs> hey. Wait, I get the reference. <laughs> they hit me with an achievement called To Your Eternity, bro. I get it. <laughs> oh, I got 20k fans for that. Yo. I'm about to reach 100k. Yes. This event is so sick. I love this event. And let's see. You can tell how fast I read just because of how I'm scrolling. <laughs> Dude, we need we need more more star rail riders on the Genshin team bro <laughs> Thank you. 
the thing I like about uh, both of them, well, Genshin, it's like more. Genshin's more like E for everyone, and they're trying to, they're trying to appeal to everyone. Star Rail knows their targeted audience, cause they they had different Honkai games before, and they they they're appealing to those Honkai fans. I'll tell you that. They're doing it well. What is this? But there's, but there's, there's no Kaina. <laughs> Where's she at? Where's Hanabi? Uh, two patches. I'm still waiting for the the third Hawkeye Pro tag. She isn't here yet. We're still missing our third one. <laughs> it, it, she's not in Genshin either. She's not. In, she's not in Genshin either. Yeah, they need to reference each other. Like, Starry already referenced Genshin. Where's Genshin referencing Starry? Oh, yeah, the, the reference is, uh, is, uh, they give away a uh, Cloud Train for free during Red Lantern, right? Is that the case? You wish! <laughs> I was gonna say. Starry, they're, <laughs> they're fine with giving you a free 5 star, but Genshin is like. They don't do that often. All I'm saying is we need we need a kinda. We need her in Honkai Star Rail. We need her. We already have the Branya. We already have the Ride in May. Now we need the Kinda. Then we have all three pro tags in Star Rail. Yes, sir. Because 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 there's no Branya and there's no Kinda in Genshin. There's only the Ride in May. <laughs> uh, 1984. Am I at the halfway mark of the event? Which I don't know. I'm about to reach the 100k followers uh, mission. Oh boy. Okay. That's pretty cool. You can get the kit control a little delivery thing. Lady, yeah, stop yeah. trying to dominate Sirius. Stop it. <laughs> stop! He's just evil. Train to start, though. <laughs> Honestly, Sirius needs to be in MOC. Sirius needs to be in one. Fuck that. Sirius is such an annoying boss to fight. <laughs> I like him, though. I think it's cool. Way, f way more fun than Versi Argenti or fucking Gang Ching in the spot in the MLC. I'm gonna kill myself. I see fucking Gepard again. Yeah, I guess that's just true. My face, I do is actually serious. Do minion summon Gepard, minion summon Argenti at the same time, minion summon Yang Ching at the same time. I'm going to bed, bro. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, bro. Um, we even have to play for four shields. There's nine, there's like, there's like four Yangqing swords, four Genji shields on the screen. Your parts buffing them all up. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving a rope. <laughs> Give me the rope. Give me the rope. I'm, uh, I'm eating right, my bro. dick. 
<laughs> I'm eating my own deck. I'm eating my deck, bro. No, 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 no. Let's see. Like, Effects, curse to all of them. Healing. Damage. Okay. Ooh. Ready for another? I like that. I like more ability. <laughs> yeah. You're a kitty cat. Cat meow. No, he griefed me. No, <laughs> he's gonna get the play. <laughs> <laughs> Bro got an extra turn. Okay, that was not fair. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Into the little sake thing. I forget what these are called, but they're like little water containers. I know. I I just follow like 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 a Luigi's mansion. Like we like get a ghost. But it's like the it's like ba 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 when you get like the dance Luigi does. Hmm. I know they have a name for it, but I, I'm forgetting it right now. Yo, is that March? What is she doing here? The bussy jar. Ha <laughs> 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 How many of the main quests are there? There's, there's a lot of uh, side quests that you do. How many of the main ones, like the ones with uh, the voice acting, that take like an hour to do? Are you copying the story? No, 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 for this event. I don't remember. Because there's like the assignments. I'll play for audio. Oh. <laughs> like, for each milestone, right? They give you a, a new quest that you're supposed to do, and that unlocks more tasks. Yo, 100k! E. Look at that. Yeah, see? I unlike this quest. <laughs> Scooby Doo and the gang with a hundred K followers. Yo. No, oh, we're teleporting there. Screw it. <laughs> Do I do a two and one and just make this episode extra long? I kind of, I, I, I kind of do. Yo, past level fifty-seven. I have five days to max this out. I don't think I have enough time. This this looks a little fit very good. Yeah, Devil see, this one has uh, voice oh, acting. Do you think Tails did this? Seems like his style. I didn't say you were wrong. I said I said I said I don't remember. came up with a very poor excuse. What about this one? Uh, paranormal activity reported at exclusive horror immersion. Guests experience haunting within seven days of screening. 
It reminds me of when I used to watch porn or merge it to train my courage. Whenever there was a suspenseful moment, Tail would jump up and scare me. Based. Guys, I feel like this is just some sort of prank. Or a marketing stunt to boost ticket sales. Waha has been browsing Ghostly Grove for hours. Every time she finds a suspicious incident, she says, Do you think Tail did this? Problem is, any suspicious incident could be tail related when you think about it. <laughs> I feel like tail is still around. But if so, why didn't he come back to see me? He was your tail for so many years. I'm sure he'd come back to say hi. Or bye. <laughs> if you don't find tail, you're still a great judge. The success of our ghost hunting squad proves it. I, uh, thank you, Miss Gray. But I don't really get compliments without the encouragement of you squad members. <clears throat> Working with you guys has made me feel a little more confident. But it's hard not to think about the days when Tail was still around. Back then, I was a useless coward. I'd hide at the first sign of trouble. Tail would always complain about it, but he'd also get me out of danger. Hmm. Reminds me of me and my brother. Sort of a love-hate relationship. Hey, look at this. Did you find Tail? <laughs> She's got the TikTok rain right. <laughs> Yo, 160k follower? Yo. Uh, have you done the AMA yet? AMA? No? Ah. I'm assuming there's one quest per, uh, per, so like, every time you do one of like the big quests, you unlock a new tower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But I did three of them already. I only unlocked two towers. Something tail so I'm assuming I got three more quests. I'm pretty sure there's two more, and then, then and no once tail, you do all four towers, you get the third tower. The work of so it's the middle one. Hmm. Let's hurry up and get to the scene. We'll, be too we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we don't have time for that. Even if Cirrus does know something, by the time we finish asking questions, it'll be too late. Be careful, everyone. This sounds like a very aggressive helio bus. Yo, we're about to, like, go up to 250k. Holy shit. Mm, 400k for the next one. Okay. Is it worth using this weapon on her already? Or should I wait for it to be higher level? I don't know. All I know is I have a level 80. Mine's level and 60 R5. right now. Free to play. No. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, I'm getting paid. Let's go. <laughs> I'll level it up. Why not? They should give you a discount like they do in uh, Genshin when you're leveling up something during an event. God, I'm already getting a free weapon. I want a discount about the living weapon as well. <laughs> Let's see. 10 and then 2. Uh, which one's better in stat? They're both equal. Let me use this one for now, then. Alright. A bright egg. Yeah, I didn't want this video to be under... under an hour long, even though I've been recording for at least two hours now. <laughs> Maybe I'm just capping. I had to cut out a lot, okay? <laughs> That fight took so long. Mm. 
personnel should keep their distance. It's dangerous here. Actually, we're not really unauthorized, are we, Judge? Is that true, Shang? The Judge? Why are the Ten Lords Commission here? It's a very long story, so let's deal with the problem at hand first. Mr. Master, <laughs> the Ten Lords Commission will handle this. Thank you for your cooperation. Understood. Please take mercy on him. Don't worry. Yeah, let's see if his arm room blocks the baseball bat. Alright, let's see what buff we got this time. Okay. It's not a bad buff. It's the explosion one. <laughs> Boom! He just auto died. What? <laughs> what was that about? Mm. Yeah, these guys are strong. Really strong. Boom. <laughs> Boom. That did 88k. Yo, this buff is kind of nutty. Ammo cap. Judge Quahua. Is he alright? No, we killed him. His life isn't in danger, but his hands and feet are spasming, and his speech is incoherent. I think he's experiencing a delusion that he can't snap out of. I feel like I've been drained of my strength. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, are you okay? Can you answer a few questions for me? I... I think so. <laughs> Let me think for a moment. <sighs> I received a report today about... an infestation of abominations <laughs> here at the Alchemy Commission. The, the captain sent me to clear it out. What happened after that was like a dream. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> for each when patch of uh, started talking to me. For each patch, do we get like a one big event? Which moves to avoid, yeah, it's the same as which Genshin. moves to use, which gotcha. to adopt to retain balance. He's sick. <laughs> then. It told me to relax and let it take control against the enemy. That sounds just like an Ilio bus. I, I followed its instructions. To my surprise, it felt like my combat skills had greatly improved. Still, it told me I was incompetent, like a piece of rotten wood. It wanted to find a new apprentice to carry forward the art. It was only then that I realized there was a sword-wielding child beside me, staring right at me. <laughs> Lots of children grow up learning to use a sword on the law, too. But for a child to be walking around with one... I sure hope we're not thinking of the same person. <laughs> Ying Shen. Boy was the general's it is! <laughs> I knew it. Bruh. When I heard my sword say the name, I was in disbelief. And then, for some reason, I just attacked Yin Shen. He, he must have spared me. The funny thing is that I didn't even see him move. I just fell straight to the ground. Bruh. What happened next was even more outlandish. Yinxing looked like he was talking with a sword in his hand. He turned around and left without looking back. And my weapon? 
I wish it never spoke again. Not good. <laughs> I'll take care of the cloudmen. You go after Yin Ching. Damn. I don't even have that place unlocked. Alright, boys. Gonna go unlock it. Elevator time. Come on. There you go. Hello, doggies. Don't kill me, please. Go this way. Dude, this area is massive. I definitely miss some chests here. Genshin patch is later today, right? Like around five to. That that's the maintenance. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yo, new cream model. Extension sword. I saw him wield it one time when I was doing drills with the Cloud Knights. I heard that Yen Ching's sword was a famous weapon crafted by the Artisanship Commission. It resonates with its master, reacting to his movements in battle like it has a mind of its own. He must have encountered some kind of danger, so his sword flew away to find someone to help, right? of evil would be strong enough to pose a threat to Yen Ching. Blade. Dong Ho. I'm not sure, but the people <laughs> are strange creatures. Even the sharpest sword can't cut them. Uh-oh. I just had a thought. If it's not auspicious, we'd best not say it out loud. Based on what that Cloud Knight said, it isn't that Yen Ching's in danger. Hmm. Exactly. Follow <laughs> the sword. No matter what, we have to find Yen Ching before things get even worse. Yang Shin on his way to destroy the Law Fu. Finally. I haven't even explored this area before. We've got to catch up with him before things get out of hand. Dude, what is happening to Stell's leg? <laughs> it was twitching, it was spasming out. I'm gonna unlock more of this area. I haven't just bought it. Sorry, I got the TikTok brain. <laughs> I did not have this place unlocked at all. Holy. You did. You did. No, I did not. Look. Bro. You did. You just didn't know how to get there. I just don't explore it at all. I would have yeah, explored it. Yeah, you don't explore, I agree. Bro, I do. Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Guys, I found Yang Chin. He's right here. Oh, that guy's optional? Alright, I'm not fighting him then. <laughs> That was not hard. Enemy jump scare. Oh. Well, even better. Give me that. And 20 jades. Chess in this game give you so much more than chess and Genshin. There's so little chess. <laughs> Dragon Prayer Terrace. Judging by the sword he aimed at her, that's where Yen Ching is. Should we really be charging over there, even without a helio bus? 
Chen Qing is a swords master among swords masters. Are, are you scared, Xu Shang? Me too. Compared to the other Hiryo Bai we've dealt with so far, this one seems like it could do some serious damage. Scared? <laughs> My mother taught me swordplay as soon as I could walk. I might not be as good as the general's apprentice, but I would never let cowardice dishonor the name of the Dragon Knight or the family sword. But I am worried. If the Hiryo Bai Chen is too strong, I'm afraid I might not be able to guarantee everyone's safety. The general has been supporting our ghost hunting squad from the very beginning. It's time to return the favor. Even if it wasn't for the general's sake, as a judge, I can't let a Hiryuba's take over someone as dangerous as Yan Ching. Dude, they're no. talking to Rob, bro. Trailblazer, please help me rescue him. Yan Ching is at Dragonfire Terrace. Let's go. Oh, we, we, we just have to fight Yang Shin, huh? <laughs> Whoop Yang Shin! Let's go! Hey, right, let's buff up. I hear some fighting already. Who's little bro fighting? What are all these swords doing in Dragonfire Terrace? It must be a Heliobus illusion. Shouldn't we ring the harmonic chime and see if we can talk to Yenqing inside the illusion? Illusion? <laughs> Since each of you can see it, wouldn't that mean you'd fallen into the illusion as well? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. To me, this sword formation is a precious arsenal. When I gaze upon any one, a thousand sword fights dance before my eyes. The sword play far exceeding anything I have learned. And better yet, they welcome those who wish to pursue higher realms with open arms. That this is an illusion created by a Heliobus. The general sent me to assist the Ten Lords Commission. I know a thing or two about your work. These cosmic flames are not good nor evil. They are simply a mirror. As long as hmm. the host's mind is clear, a Heliobus cannot control them. Take me, for example. At this moment, I am free of all distractions. And I see the potential for greatness in these swords. Isn't that right, Master Apira? Apira? That Heliobus's name is Apira? Correct. Master Apira promised to show me the flaws in my swordplay and how to take it to the next level. That's why I brought them to Dragon Prayer Terrace, where I suffered my most serious setback. Young one. without limits <sighs> you're just in time the swords have taught me something already <laughs> I'd like to see how sharp my skills have become no my skills are lacking I've been through countless defeats but with the pyra as my master no longer My face one game she summons goons. Oh hell no, he's tanky as shit. In the name of Landa, will forge an ice. Never fall. 
Or I'm just weak. I, I don't know. I figured this bad. Mmm. Lag. Two FPS. I'm running this game on a MacBook, bro. You are not. I'm sure it's gonna take a while. With sincerity of heart and mind, give it your all. Lieutenant Yangsheng, snap out of it! We don't want to fight you! <laughs> I want to fight you! And we're just getting started. She's going woke. No! Cut through the rest. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Their skills are nothing compared to mine. Oh, that's supposed to happen. <laughs> That was supposed to happen. I'm like, bro, that shit did like 3k attack. I thought we were just sparring. The laws of the battlefield are no different from the laws of the universe. Life or victory. Some of death or defeat. Swordsmanship is the art of victory. And only the victorious swords can be passed on. Swords defeated. Buried among the barren wastelands. But you're resisting me. Rid yourself of these needless notions of clemency. How can you move forward without casting these distractions aside? Woman. Raise your sword. Life for victory and death for defeat, huh? All this talk of laws of the battlefield in the universe. You think that gives the appearance of a grandmaster? You're just using someone else's ambition to satisfy your own desire to shed blood. This Shren who asked though? Like who asked? <laughs> my family for like, like who asked? When my mother gave it to me, she said the bread. Bro, she's got like three HP. Just realized I misheard her. I think she actually said the eggs may break, but the heart remains. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the winner and loser of this battle have yet to be determined. Don't give me that. There is no point in fighting any longer. Speech. <laughs> this little wench is fighting spirit is on fire, young one. Since she insists. Fighting. Will you give her our answer? I I won't back down. Mr. Shang refused. This is between fellow cloud knights. Losing a fight isn't a big deal. But if I abandon my fellow soldiers and bring dishonor to the knights, how could I wield my sword again? Let's get who asked. More than a few moves. You guys go get the general quickly. I'll try and hold him off until he gets here. You know, we don't need the whole squad to get the general, though. We just need one person. Su Zhang, my bestie. Why is she so stubborn? Why didn't you help her? Also, Su Jian is better than Yang Xin, and she's not. A spirit bearer told me she's that the is still in Fix Show Garden. Let's hurry. Objective. The only one that can break Yan Qing's illusion is Jing Yan himself. Alright. Here we go. Hmm. This is where serious is. Oh, the general's also here. 
No, fair enough. Huh. Is something the matter? You seem out of breath. Nah, I used the teleporter. Hmm. A helio bus that creates illusions for the sole purpose of instructing someone in swordplay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning a few tricks from them myself. Unfortunately, it sounds like this one is a little too aggressive to be a decent sparring partner. This is not an adversary that someone as young as Yang Ching is equipped to deal with. General, we need to move fast. If we wait any longer, I'm afraid that Zhu Sheng might be... I can understand your sense of urgency. But before I leave, I have a question for Cirrus, who has been listening this whole time. I trust you are familiar with the Pyra. Naturally. Among the Heliobi, Pyra manifests the courage and warring spirit of Igmar. They are the most aggressive of all the fragments. But who is this Swordmaster? Who is Yinqing? My apprentice. <laughs> smell a hint of sadness in you. In order to rescue his incompetent apprentice, the master must fight on the battlefield himself. I must say, I'm very envious of Pyra. <laughs> you know the flavor of sadness, but not its meaning. An apprentice obsessed with victory and defeat has lost his mind to a helio bus. And is now trying to shortcut his way to mastery of the sword. This is my failure to him as master. And the source of grief you see in me now. <laughs> then you should hurry. Pyra has an insatiable bloodlust. Once they've enslaved your mind, and we just come back and we see Sushan dead. your apprentice Su Shang is awaiting our time you run it back shift the back I'm with you Bird. They aren't even fighting. Lieutenant of the seed of divine foresight. Is that the best you can do? And I was thinking I'd be done for the moment you drew your sword. I didn't think I didn't think I would last this long. I I'm not half as bad as I thought. No more <coughs> me or hesitating again. You're all Hesitating. Your opponent is no match for you, yet they have managed to fend you off for this long. As a sword, he's being totally shit. Not any bride, because he is. Take it from uh, the man with the level 70 Yang Shin, bro. This this is the next general of the Cloud Knights, by the way. We're fucked. <laughs> that was fucked. <laughs> oh, man. Fujian's the next general of the whole thing. Oh hell no. Nah. Uh oh. This is not a fair fight. Love Ralph thinks he's cooking. Under his tutelage, you never experienced true failure. But after suffering your first major setback, your confidence in your swordsmanship has been faltering. You worry that the general is disappointed in you. You worry that you don't have what it takes to be the person the general wants you to be. Now, show him what I have taught you. He'll be very of your progress tell him that with your sword you will bring victory to the Xianzhou 
<laughs> she's just shaking his head. He's just like, nah, I got it. With my sword. Yen Ching would never draw his sword on me to prove himself. He's very confident in that. Confidence in him. This confidence is not a belief that he will win every contest. This man is the so master of deflection. <laughs> free from the paradigm of victory and defeat. And realize his true reason for wielding the sword. The pleasure of swordsmanship. The saving of life. And the dispatchment of enemies. This truth must be discovered by himself. No one can teach it to him. Now is the time for him to take that step. General, I... From victory and defeat, those are just empty words to comfort the dead and the defeated. Think of your crushing defeat at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Think of how you felt then, teetering on the brink of death. To be fair, you try to fight Blade, Kafka, and <laughs> don't know. Is your flesh. Little bro you thinks it's hard to sauce. Well, it's a three on one. That shit ain't fair. Also, Kafka didn't fight. She was just watching. Break all your chains. Draw your sword on your master. To the general who is trying to imprison you. Draw your sword. General, allow me to demonstrate my sword to Bro. you. <laughs> Your accomplishments would have been limitless. But you were led astray by empty idealism. None of that matters anymore. <laughs> While teaching you, I studied your every move inside out. And now you wish to throw down the gauntlet. Very well. In own image and with your own techniques i will teach you one final lesson your sword play every stroke and sway i've committed it all to memory now allow me to demonstrate But I think I can kill him before the nuke attack, though. Because what? I get Yang Shin's ult here after the skill, maybe? Yeah. And I got this blow. Ho ho ho. Say free. One hit, one stroke of luck, one victory. Luck. Your sword's broken now. Fucking give me a new sword. Finally, Jedo, I need a new sword. Bloop. Oh yeah. My face went to play Clash. Oh hell no. Nah. General. I know what you wish to say, Yanqing. We can move past the melodrama. <laughs> then, uh, to the rest of you, thank you for 
bringing me out of that daze. Especially you. Mr. You're trash. Why does everyone but that stereo boss go up to apologize for it? You're the victim here. They're the ones stirring up chaos. That should be me thanking you for holding back during our battle. And maybe, just maybe, it's due to a sudden skill improvement? Don't you think? Hmm. Conscious Yushong is pretty badass. We're gonna need to get you a front page. Can they say that? <laughs> Let's get some billboards. So, Probably. Your daily mission attunes me, huh? This ain't E for everyone. With respect to this incident, what is your plan for posting on the Lok Fu's ghostly grove? Since it concerns the seat of divine foresight, I am hoping you could. Well, about that. Let me discuss it with her first. Yo, that's a sick thing now. Breaking news! Is everyone okay with this? Thanks for covering for me. I'm so embarrassed. All's well that ends well. Hurry so they literally display the ancient sword. <laughs> well then, Yen Ching and I. They can cover up his name and whatnot, but they literally just showed his sword for the fucking thumbnail. <laughs> That's equivalent to just doxing him, bro. <laughs> Well, he's buying a sword. That means they're, they're, they're like they're also they're doxing like... the creators. <laughs> what am I versus? That was a big risk, Miss Sushang. Actually, I'm well aware of my own limits. If it weren't for Yenching resisting that helio bus, maybe I wouldn't have been able to hold on until you brought reinforcements. <laughs> yeah, why did it take three people to get reinforcements? We only needed one person to fetch That's what I'm saying. Why didn't we get her to stay behind with you? And why didn't you ask? <laughs> uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I was caught up in the moment. I guess I never thought it through. Uh, sometimes I wonder whether your head screwed on right. We need to take you to the Alchemy Commission for a checkup. Maybe. My actions kept everyone safe, and that's what matters. Miss <laughs> Wahua needed someone to look out for her, and little Gui is just a civilian. You shouldn't be putting yourself in risky situations. As for her, she's a distinguished guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. If anything were to happen to her, it could turn into a diplomatic crisis. After weighing things up in my head, it made the most sense for only me to stay put. If I still had my tail, I wouldn't be slowing everyone down. Sorry, Hua I, I didn't think it through. You were never a burden. It's not your fault, Miss Sushung. It's just... Yeah, we got 14k followers because of you. <laughs> but how can someone average like me keep up with the affairs of the Ten Lords Commission without my tail. <sighs> Forget it. We should get some rest. There could be even bigger dangers waiting for us tomorrow. Cat she shang. She went zzz zzz zzz. Zzz zzz zzz. Also, we definitely have an iPhone. You can tell by the noise. 
All right, let me look at that follower count. Holy. That's what I like to see. Do we over double dash? <laughs> It's just that easy, guys. Everyone knows managing a social media account is just that easy. That's why you have 10 mil subs? I wish. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I unlocked another one of these. Yo. How much are these new ones giving me? 55k. Damn. Oh, it's the silver plaque. Yo. Like, you get the reference. A hundred K so special guys. It's just so easy. Okay, I call it be a hundred K so special in this lie. <laughs> oh, we're at two hundred seventy K now. I don't think that's the mission I was supposed to be doing, is it? <laughs> what the fuck? This guy does pump and I lightning it and I then he mirrors it and he rages it. That's he's got, he's got he got E barbs freeze heal spirit. <laughs> no, I lose. I don't have cycle. What's good, YouTube? He's got three pumps on the screen.
<laughs> My ear just started ringing. It hurts. It's like I just got flash banged. What just happened? Maybe I'm getting hearing loss. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I often see little Gwei together with the tall, gray-haired, hot girl. Is she single? I am a minor, you shouldn't be asking. I don't think that's true. Single, taken, divorce, widow. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't be asking that. I'm a minor. I'm not, though. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. There you go. That's your reminder at the two hour mark of the video to like and subscribe. Oh, thank God. I really needed that. Yeah, I'll go do that right now, actually. Let's go. I won. I won. I won. <laughs> Let's go. He had too many bumps, he couldn't get a value off of it. I just started spamming Sparkies. Let's go. 100k sub special. I wonder, I wonder what it says if you're a dude. Your Wait, what up. was that guy's name? <laughs> if you're playing as uh, Kalos' name, but he played uh, as Kalos. Oh, I wonder what the thing is as. Who's that tall, gray-haired, uh, hottie? Yeah, going up then after realizing we are single. Dude, I'm getting so many mats. I want this wallpaper. This wallpaper is so sick. Oh my god. I'm getting so many rolls. Now we pull, now we pull. Well, let's check up on my jades, actually. I got like 700 today. <laughs> we go again, we go again. The gambling addiction never ends. 9% of gamblers quit before they make it big. Hmm. I need to select a buff. Oh my god. I think. Hmm. Do I like this buff? The impair buff is also pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go with. This one for now. And we'll see if it works or not. Let's go. Dude, this buff is so broken. <laughs> it costs one flame to use. It makes them explode if they get attacked. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh, I have to fight the monkey. No. Let's go. I beat him. 
see. That's not too bad. That's the second and third tower, 100%. It's just that first tower that's giving me issues. But maybe if I use this buff, because I'm using a different buff now. Maybe if I use this buff, it'll be <laughs> Who knows? Let's go! <laughs> it took so long. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. Boom. That's what I like to see. I can probably level up this weapon again. Let's see. I can. Let's go. Level 80. Light cone. Oh, yeah. You know, these rewards I'm getting now. Holy. Tier 60 on the packs. Dude, I'm getting paid. You know, these epic achievements. We got one more. All right. <clears throat> Take a look. And that's some. Hmm. All right. I wonder if you can reply to people's uh, thing. Oh. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's do this one.
Right. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's just fighting a bunch of mob. Mm, that's not too bad. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, the boy's putting our life at risk for some followers. <laughs> what is a poster? Oh, good thing we didn't touch it. Oh, Okay, it's like a little escape room. Gotcha. Hmm. Can I take something out of this? No. Alright. You yeah, know, that's what work. Alright. And we use the key here. Hmm. Bell used to call a small animal. Okay. What is going on?
Tem nada aqui. Square race ball. That sounds so unappetizing. Hey, very cute. Damn it. A box with a password. What? The hell? Okay, so we obviously can't use that yet. I mean, we can try it, but I don't think it'll work. Yep. Okay. So, we have everything in that room. We have everything in this room. We have just the box. So let us know. Okay. Middle up, down, up, down. Bro, I don't know what I'm missing. I think I got every shiny thing here. Unless there's like some sort of secret. Then I just... Oh! Brother. You're kidding. Mm. Okay. On the same stuff moving. Can I talk to you again? Hmm. 
brother. Okay, well, it means what's this? If you're unfamiliar, my friend, you're still unlocked. You have to solve the puzzle. Combination is written. Okay, well, let me just uh, take a picture of that. <laughs> Right. And then I got that. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing let's say password is T and I need to find out the combination. So let's start with one. Then two, then um, and two. Damn it! Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! I'm sword and dude. All right. One, three, two. Get into the pot. Oh, I have to fight him, bruh. Bruh. Why? This is buff. Hmm. Okay. I love this buff. This buff is so good. Boom! Get in the pot. Another job well done. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Just 
Alright, into the pot you go. Little one. Alright. We are just one mission away. Give me those shades. Yeah. Dude, I am speedrunning this event. Look at that. Mm. These we're still working on. The subscription plan we're still working on. We're doing alright. I guess I'll record this last one. Yeah. And we'll call it an episode. Now we're gonna get up there. Alright, I found out. <laughs> this is blocked, huh? Oh, oh no! <laughs> She's getting jumped! So you have the same buff? It generates energy for all allies and increase all damage. Okay. Okay, I see you. Alright, cool.
<laughs> Who are these gooners? We'll be fine. Oh. I'm just going to spam all this. We need to do about it. Okay, that's what I like to see. <laughs> what is going on, bro? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> 
the original plan was to just keep all of this as uh, two separate videos, maybe like one quest per video. But I feel like having having like five videos just on the event seems a bit much. But then again, this is a big event, and I'm enjoying it a lot. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, four hundred K. The <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna leave on a cliffhanger. No, oh, hell no. Dude. Oh my god. You fill up the past here so quickly with this thing? Yo! Yes! Dude, this weapon is gonna be cracked. Hell yeah. And I'm getting paid. Hell yeah. <laughs> hmm. We unlocked a new tower, did we not? But we might have to leave that for the next episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. You know, this is quite the longer video, so we'll do a proper outro. Right. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.